Yay! Good job, Drew. Oh, this must be how actors feel first thing in the morning. What's up, everybody, and welcome. Oh, I'm so tired to do this. <laughs> It's like I gotta do a high energy intro every time and I'm just like, ah. What's up everybody and welcome to Dr. Baby D. Before we get started, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and so Hi baby girl. Please like, share, comment, get involved with us. Make sure you hit the yeah, that thing, that notifies you when we have more content, which we upload daily now. Make sure you check out our Instagram, at Dr. Baby D. All right, as I told you yesterday, I got the Ikea crib right here. Pretty much every vlogger and their mother has this crib for some reason. It's very basic, but it works perfectly, and this is a great price. What we're going to do is turn this into a co-sleeper. Krista has been wanting to co-sleep. But she's nervous. She can't sleep with her arm around her and just the other techniques don't work for her. I refuse to co-sleep because I'm semi-heavy sleeper. I move around a lot. So I'm just going to squish her and I'm just it's no-go for me on the co-sleeping. But what I have to do is this panel's got to come off. And then we're going to raise up the bed. And then we're going to scoot it close to our bed. And that way, Krista can co-sleep with Drew, but there's still like a little blockade, so she can't roll over on her, and she can actually get some sleep. And it'll also get Drew starting to get used to getting out of the snoo and into a crib environment. Okay. Um, how we what? Gonna lift like that? You said isn't literally. That's all we gotta lift it. Oh really? Yeah. So when we when we move this up to here. Can we not just move the bottom up to the next holes? Well, that's what I mean. After we do that, this is going to be that much lower than our mattress. Oh. So if that's good with you, I just don't want to her rolling over and being like the little crap. We'll check it out. But let's let's just get this going. All right. So a little dilemma is so this crib wasn't really too meant for having one side off so this can kind of slide out which is dangerous but it's an easy fix because all I'm gonna do is take a zip tie from here to here just wrap that around and that's gonna keep this locked in and that's not gonna be a problem but what we have to do is get this panel from this hole up to that hole right there um, and then even that this is gonna be like three inches or two inches lower than our mattress so we're gonna stuff like towels or something down here to make sure that it's completely level with our bed Hi, Drew. Hi, monkeys. Hi. So I wanted to do a quick time lapse of me bringing this in because Krista was watching Drew. Yeah, you're so strong. Look at you. Rawr. I wanted to do a quick time lapse, but it was a pain in the butt to get this out of the other room. And then the camera fell, and so the time lapse just didn't work. So you see, this is what we meant. But there's just this little tiny gap right here. And I, and I don't like that, but at the same time, we could just put some blankets down here. We can lift this up to be even with that. Drew fell over, but that's okay. You know, she's a fallen baby. So, fall she rolled, over. rolled over. All right, so this is kind of what we have set up. Now what I want to do is zip tie right here to the bed so this doesn't move. And then I think we want to raise the mattress up. Now I think what we're also going to do is try to keep the blankets tucked in so they don't become loose and have an issue with her in here but but not bad right i think it looks cool mm -hmm. i kind of want to sleep in it 
Drew, why don't you sleep in a bed with mom and I'll sleep in here. That way everybody's safe. Okay, so I just zip tied right here. So this is zip tied from our bed frame to the um, crib. Now, obviously it's on carpet, it's not really gonna go anywhere, but this is a little bit extra security. So we make sure that that gap does not open. So we're gonna do that here and on the other side, and then we should be good to go. My thumb looks weird. There we go, good good to go. Maybe I gotta work on my, my stage thumb, yeah. All right, so there you go. Look at that. I think it actually looks kind of cool. You know, I think uh, right here and the blankets are tucked in. We don't got to worry about that. The other cool thing is since this bar is right here, mama's not going to accidentally roll or anything like that. She's right here with her baby. Uh, I think this is going to be awesome. So we're going to try it out on this first nap. Mama's going to take a nap with her and we'll see how it works. But uh, yeah, there you go. If you guys want to turn your Ikea crib into a into a co-sleeper with your bed now the only thing is is that i'm gonna say right now the only thing that i'm gonna say is if you look our bed is not the highest bed we do not have a box spring under it uh we have one of those um one of those bed frames that you do not uh, you can't see it yeah we have yeah my wife said that we have a platform bed so we don't have a box spring under here so it sits a little bit lower so we're able to do something like this if you don't have something like this and you have a box spring, you know, I'm pretty sure you just want to keep this this side on and then you wouldn't be able to do this kind of thing, but you'd still have access to your baby. But if you do not have a box spring and you got a platform bed, look at that. Boom. I think it looks cool. It's not going anywhere. It's solid. Mom and baby can sleep together. Love it. All right, so we got Drew in her Zen sleep sack. It's got a little bit of weight right here. This is just to reenact uh, mom or dad having their hand um, touching. So we're trying to get her out of the snooze sack, trying to get her free roaming. We also have her arms out. We have socks for gloves, which a lot of parents probably do because when she starts rubbing her face, she scratches her eyes and she just doesn't control real that yet. Yeah, and real gloves don't work simply because she takes them off really easily. Socks are the best. Don't buy the gloves because that is a waste of money. Buy socks. So there you have it. Drew's in with Mama right now, sleeping away, and they're doing great. Absolutely love it. Uh, please like, share, comment, get involved with us. We really do appreciate it. And until tomorrow, as we always say, deuces. Thank <laughs> you.